Hello again. This is Collectibles and Hobbies. Unfortunately, we have some bad news for the world of Star Wars as far as action figures collectibles go. <clears throat> I'm a retailer who sells online. I have stores and I was notified a couple of days ago of a price hike for all Star Wars action figures. Not just the Black Series figures. Not just, uh, well, all three major types. The two packs, the Mission Series two packs, and the regular Force Awakens figures. And wholesale, they've all gone up by $6.80 per case. That means for wholesalers, you have to buy basically, well, depending on what it is, you got to buy a lot more cases, at least 50 plus more cases to get the same price they've been going for since they've been released. So, supposedly, this, um, this may or may not have some negative effects on the retail market at Walmart they already sell their black series figures for under $19.99 to begin with and so there's there's a possibility that they could go up to the suggested retail price on these figures now on the black series 6 inch is $22.99 we've been hearing that supposedly for about a year and a half and they never actually implemented that. Most stores are still selling them for, you know, $19.99. Now, as far as the uh, four-inch figures or 3.75-inch, whatever you want to call them, that scale, the retail price is now listed at $8.99 instead of $7.99. And for the... Uh, the two packs they are supposed to be going up from $14.99 to $15.49 okay so personally I don't know if a lot of people have paid attention to these but a lot of people online the, uh, the two packs which come eight per case they've a lot of places have been selling them for lower prices, like uh, $12.99, $13.99, $11.99, um, even $10.99. So they could be clearancing out those figures to make room for new ones. Um, not sure what that would mean as far as the Force Awakens 2 packs go. That could possibly mean a um, a change in packaging or discontinuation to some extent or even um, well if they changed it it could be probably just a change of packaging it could be a change of theme as well um, or maybe the figures themselves will be different maybe on a bubble instead of in a box like they were before um, not really 100% sure what's going on with that they may be from what I understand they're probably gonna run throughout the rest of the year the uh, they may have another assortment or two and um, what that probably means is they're going to be ch changing the packaging for the new movie Rogue One, so they're gonna they may change the assortment number. They're gonna run those out. You know the they'll probably do the last pre-orders maybe in August or September for the uh, regular edition uh, Force Awakens two packs, which a lot of the figures aren't even from Force Awakens like Ahsoka and. Uh, Darth Vader and uh, so there's obviously a lot of changes coming 
Now, as far as the Black Series figures go, well, there's also, um, obviously, they're going to be moving to, the, the Rogue One figures, obviously, are going to be coming out soon, probably, in, um, as of right now, there aren't any pre-orders available for those. This is only May, and according to Hasbro, there probably won't be until August, and the majority of the stuff late September. So, um, well, anyway, as far as Rogue One, we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves right here. Uh, we really don't know a whole lot about that, but they're will be figures obviously from Rogue One. We just don't know if the Force Awakens packaging is going to continue <clears throat> with those figures because obviously it's a much bigger movie. More uh, stuff has yet to be released. A lot of stuff, you know, has isn't even close to coming out yet. So from what I've been told, other than the the mission series two packs the Black Series is going to continue in the Force Awakens packaging for the rest of the year. Uh, they may change it, but it'll still be Force Awakens. It may not be red and black anymore. It might just be more of a Black Series window box like the 2013 original Black Series. But there, um, there will be some changes to the Mission Series 2 packs, supposedly. Um, now, as far as the regular five point <clears throat> of our articulation figures, just the uh, single carded figures, you may see like a raise in price at Kmart. Supposedly, Kmart steers those type of vendors are going to be raising the prices of all figures by 50 cents so from what i understand now uh some kmart sell them for 7.49 and um some of them are 6.99 some of them are 7.99 um but i have i wouldn't be surprised that they go for 8.99 or 8.49 at Kmart, they obviously want to keep it as close to the same price as they can, but uh, the figures have gone up in price. That's the bottom line. Now, according to my wholesaler, <clears throat> to one of them, the primary one, the primary wholesaler and distributor they get from, besides Hasbro Direct. This um, could mean lower sales um, in general because people are going to have to order 50 plus cases or more to get the same price they were already getting, which was, you know, $90 plus shipping for six, six inch Black Series figures, which actually sounds like a great deal, but um they're only getting five bucks a figure you know if the retails the retailers are selling them um uh, you know after shipping costs and you know all that kind of stuff taxes if they're selling it online or selling on ebay they charge 10 percent paypal charges you know 2.7 percent or whatever so um 2.9, I forget, but, uh, maybe it's 3.9, some things. Anyway, the bottom line is the, uh, there's less profit to be made now. So, prices will probably go up, hopefully not, until, or for a while at least, but that's the news, that's the way that the, uh, distributors are, doing it that's what they're talking about so that's just a 
piece of information I thought I'd share with all the fans who might not know about it yet. And all I can say for sure is really that I do not want to see the five point of articulation action figures retailing for eight ninety nine. I know the local Walgreens around here when the Force Friday happened, they were selling them for retail, which was seven ninety nine technically. Um, a lot of places were selling them for six ninety nine, like Target, Walmart. Uh, I even saw them go for as low as five fifty at Walmart for a while, just for a special, uh, like a, you know, just a special. Not a clearance, but, you know, just a special thing. <laughs> what do you call that? Um, promotion. Yeah, that's what you call it. So, I'm hoping they don't go up for the $8.99. I hope the black 6-inch don't go up to $22.99. Um, there's much less profit to be made now as far as retail goes. And... But if these do go up, then it's going to drive the prices up on, you know, the aftermarket value. And I don't know, to some people who collect, you know, who are just, they collect it because they think they're going to be valuable, that might be a good thing for them. But for people who just collect figures because they're fans or for people who want to open them or children, then... Obviously, this is not a good thing. Because, yeah, I used to actually work at Walmart a long time ago. And they tell you the markup when you scan something. It tells you the list price, the unit price, all that stuff. And a lot of the figures, just the regular 4-inch figures back then, they were only markup of 16%. And that doesn't really include shipping or paying the employees or, you know, all that stuff. So, <clears throat> you know, they were selling them for four seventy six back then. So they were paying about $4 a figure. And um, the actual list price, you know, it was... At one point, I think at the beginning it was four ninety nine, and when they were successful and they decided to expand and get bigger in two thousand, I mean not nineteen ninety six, they went up to five ninety nine technically as far as the retail MSRP, manufacturer suggested retail price, but the targets, the WalMarts, you know, Walmart used to be called Walmart Discount City. Because that's exactly what it is. It's a discount retail. So they always try to discount things by at least a dollar. And they end things not like 99 like 499 It's like 496 Or if they can, 476 you know. <clears throat> when things go on clearance, they're like around numbers like $5 or $0.50 cents or $0.75. Cents. You know, if they're... Uh, doing a special or promotion or a uh, price hike or price change it goes to like you know 13.98 or 92 or they use different numbers it's kind of a code um the managers know what it means and then you you can you have a good idea of what's going on like what the prices are and anyway this video is getting long so i'm gonna have to cut it off and hopefully for the uh fans out there this isn't going to have any major impact let's hope it doesn't so that way we can get all the figures that we want and continue to be happy with uh hasbro because <laughs> you never know with hasbro but they're the primary retailer so we just got to do what we got to do.